Hey, what's up, YouTube? First, a quick note to let you know that my flower painter thingy I showed a couple days ago is now available both on Gumroad and on my Patreon in case you're interested. Links are in the description below. Now, regarding the title of this video, a few months ago I released this video showcasing a what you could call this procedural IV generator of some sort, right? I was recently cleaning the project for a public release, taking some time to fix some of the small bugs and limitations as well, and eventually decided to improve it and I got a little carried away. Man, sometimes I think I'm smart but I'm actually super duper dumb. <laughs> so the generator thingy is great, but it's extremely random and so it's a little hard to predict and control, right? And so I was wondering how could I improve this? Well, maybe I could make a sculpt mod inside the engine and so you could further tweak the result. And so next thing you know, I made a sculpt mod in the engine. You could generate your IV and when you'd have a decent result, you could start a Pi session using a custom game mode and that would put you in that editor mode where you could select your IV actor. You could move stuff around, change your brush radius, fall off and all that good stuff. Maybe smooth some points, although you could turn off depth occlusion, so you could only tweak the visible points. Then if you were not happy with your tweaks, you could reset points back to their initial positions. And then you could even create new points, set tangents from a custom spline interpolation algorithm, even add bridges, like from here to there, and then set a number of segments using the scroll wheel. I was stoked, I was like, oh man, this is going to be awesome. And then it hit me. At one point I was like, mm, okay, I'm done sculpting. What do I do? Press exit, I guess? Oh, wait. Let me do that again real fast. Mm, press exit again. Hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's no way to carry data from a Pi session back to the editor. So that's absolutely useless. <laughs> I should have thought of this from the very first second I started working on this, but somehow I didn't, so oh well, whatever. That was fun to do anyway. I asked around to see if this could be done in C++, but even in C++ you are not really meant to bring data back from a Pi session, so technically you can do anything in C++, so it should be possible, but that's the kind of tools you are meant to make within the editor itself anyway, using custom editor modes. So maybe I'll look into that at one point. For now, no sculpt mode. Alright, see ya in the next video. Bye.